When you open up your SMB edition of Plan Plus Online and go into the marketing area, you'll see the ability to either go through one of the guided flows or you can create your campaign in the, in the traditional way. What I want to show you first of all is the template library. So if I look at the template library here just right off the top, I see templates that I have created. Some of them are in draft mode and some of them have been approved. Now some of these have actually come from the template wizard and the template wizard is available again by going back into the marketing tab and here if I look at a flow that I was working at and it says create a new template or use an existing email template. So I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new email template. I'm going to create it from the wizard. So I'm going to get, give it three pieces of information. The name, and these are your words of course, so anything that you want to put in here, description, and uh, the email subject. So a, uh, go ahead and say next to that. And now you see I have a choice of four email templates that I can choose from. Now that's not a great many, but it gives you an idea and it certainly gives you a starting point as far as the layout. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick this one down here, choose this design, go down here, slip down a little bit further and say submit. So now I'm actually in this wizard to create this particular email template. And I can step through here and use the default information in all cases. So here I'm editing newsletter header. I can edit that information if I wanted to. Next I go in here. I want to change this particular area to say not welcome, but something to the effect of new deals, blah, 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 whatever I might want to put in there. Next. So you see it starts to take that information. Now when I go into one of the, the graphics panels, I actually have a choice of creating and selecting a new graphics panel to display here. So I'm going ahead and going to, I'm going to go ahead and pick this particular entry right here. It goes ahead and puts that in there and I can resize that. So you can play with that. It's actually quite fun to go through this wizard. Now if I finish this, it's going to go ahead and create that template. Now if I go back into the marketing area and I look at my template library, there's my new template right here that I just created called name. And in fact, if I were to pick one of these other templates that I've already created, it says template from a wizard. Well, that's just exactly what I did. And here it is. I'm back in the middle of that template if I wanted to edit this a little bit more. Or I can go into the manual edit mode. And that might be the preferable place to go to get to really fine tune this particular template. So now that I'm in the template edit mode, uh, I can actually go into the individual details of this particular template and go ahead and finish making the template. Now that's one way to do it. The other thing that you might want to do is find a template resource from the outside and import that information. Now we'll cover that in the next video that we have in this series.